Hello everyone! This is Running On Empty Food Review! Well, hello, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Always a pleasure to be here. Let's get right into things. I wanted to do a pretty quick, very straightforward review today. McDonald's is releasing two new dipping sauces, and I have both of them. Going to give a little bit of an overview of what they are, try them both out, and uh, I'll see if they are any good or not, see what they're all about, and that's all that there is to it. So, they have two sauces right here, and I have them to verify that, that this is the real deal. There they are. It's been a little while since they've released a new dipping sauce. Um, I don't believe they have mentioned if these are going to be on the menu permanently or temporarily, but at the very least, you know, assume that they're just going to be here for a little bit, so may as well get them while the getting's good, as they say. So the first sauce to try out is their Sweet and Spicy Jam. Uh, that's what it is called. And they describe this as a red pepper sauce, uh, but they mention that it has Sichuan peppercorn in it, cayenne pepper, and apple cider vinegar. It's supposed to have a little bit of a note of sweetness to it as well, but obviously quite a spicy sauce. And then the second sauce that they released is their mambo sauce. They describe that as being a tomato-based sauce. They say it's sweet, spicy, and vinegary. And uh, interestingly, as you could see, sure they have their differences, but I already noticed that there is a little bit of a similar theme uh, going on with these sauces in that they both have an emphasis on both sweet and spiciness, and uh, they both even have some vinegar notes as well. So it'll be interesting to see uh, how they're similar and how they are different. They said you could essentially pair these with anything I did laugh a little bit on their website. They said the first thing that they mentioned that you could pair these sauces with is their quarter pounder, and that's obviously so that you could spend more money. Uh, but I understand that's the, the name of the game. But of course, you could also pair them with anything, their fries, their chicken McNuggets. So I got myself, pretend that didn't happen, small fries right there, and a four piece of the nuggets. I'm just going to try them out, we'll see how they are, and uh, take it from there. So, starting things off, the sweet and spicy jam. If you want to get the sauces by themselves for some reason, it'll be about 30 cents per sauce. Otherwise, you can just add it on, at no cost, to uh, any sort of order of fries or nuggets. There you have it. That's the thing's heart right there. Now let's open this up. Darker color. Not all that easy, but you can kind of see it glistening there. And now I will try it out. First I'll try a bite of a nugget. This is interesting. Take a look at this. <clears throat> it, it's like a, it's like a, not quite solid, but it is very gelatinous. Very thick, a uh, dense sauce. Okay, let's try it out. The sweet and spicy jam from McDonald's going in. Try a fry. A 
And just a little close-up, so you can just see the sauce itself. I would say that the, the description of this is pretty accurate. It is a good combination, as far as their sauce is concerned, of nailing both those sweet notes and the spicy notes. And I will say, though, that this sauce is definitely spicier than it is sweet. Uh, that, is, that is most certain. When I take a bite out of, or I guess a bite out of whatever I dipped it in, I salvaged that one, I immediately notice the spiciness, particularly that cayenne pepper. Uh, that is definitely the spicy note that I notice right off the bat. <clears throat> and it hits immediately, hits my tongue, I feel it there. And then it's one of those sauces where the spice kind of, whatever it comes in contact with, you feel some of that spiciness uh, permeating thereon. So I feel it on my tongue, then it gets into the back of my mouth, and then eventually I will notice it as a spicy aftertaste, which is still materializing as I speak. It's also one of those sorts of sauces that it'll kind of... It's one of the spicier sauces I've had from McDonald's. I could say that verifiably, and I could al already notice, you know, it's one of those sauces that in the sinuses definitely gets a little bit of you know, a little bit of a runny nose and a little bit of, uh, of mucus produced and whatnot. Not that it's insanely spicy. I'm sure that I was using it in a more copious quantity uh, for the sake of an assessment, but definitely a spicier sauce. Uh, at the same time, though, I'm sure you could see it is a thicker sauce, uh, almost gelatinous in nature, and it still has that little bit of a sweet note to it as well, um, but definitely more spicy than it's sweet. Packs a punch. If you're looking for a spicy sauce from McDonald's, again with that little bit of a sweet note, uh, this one will probably be the one for you. And I am impressed by it. I'm happy with it. Uh, so far so good. Compliments the nuggets quite nicely, as it does the fries. I would say it is best with the nuggets, though. So out of 10, I am going to give the sweet and spicy jam from McDonald's. Uh, that's getting an 8.3 out of 10. I'm happy with it, and uh, I like it as a sauce. So, so far, so good. Uh, next, I will be trying the mambo sauce. Again, somewhat similar notes. Uh, they said, though, it is tomato-based, sweet, spicy, and has some vinegar in it as well. So, let's try this out. And I will take another sip of water just to cleanse the palate. Darker in color, but I don't know if you notice this. It has like a little bit of like a reddish brown hue to it. And just like I did with the other sauce, I will try it out with a nugget and the fries. So the mambo sauce from McDonald's going in. Now this one is much more... It's still a thicker sauce, but it's not as dense as the other one. And uh, just a little close-up right there. Trying it out.
So interestingly, while there are some similar characteristics, it is most definitely a different uh, sauce as far as what is emphasized here. It does have that little bit of a, you know, when they say it's tomato-based, don't expect this to be like glorified ketchup. I know some people might see that uh, in the description of, sa of said sauce, and you might think that, um, but don't, don't think that that's what it's going to taste like. You could taste a tiny bit of a sort of tomato-ish notes to it, um, but it's not anything that you'll really notice. As a matter of fact, what I notice most prominently with the mambo sauce is the vinegar note. That is something that I did not notice all too prominently with the sweet and spicy jam. Uh, that was the one element thereof that I wasn't really able to taste a ton, but it was essentially inconsequential because it was still a good tasting sauce. The mambo sauce, on the other hand, I could really taste the vinegar. As a matter of fact, the note on this that is probably the least prominent is the sweetness. So when I take, I was gonna say, when I take a bite out of whatever I dip the sauce in, what I immediately notice is the spice and the vinegar flavor as well. So it's kind of like, it has a little bit of acidity to it and uh, definitely this sharp note to it as well. The spice, this one isn't materializing all that much as an aftertaste, and I wouldn't necessarily describe it as being long-lived either. However, this is the type of spice that will immediately, again, you'll feel it on your tongue, uh, but in this case, I mostly just notice it on my tongue. Uh, so as I dipped it in the nuggets, and then, of course, the nugget came in contact with my tongue. It's like I feel it, you know, burning a little bit on my tongue, but nowhere else. Not necessarily in the back of my mouth, not um, in my sinuses, nowhere else. Just on my tongue, uh, particularly the front, uh, the front and center of my tongue. That's where I really feel that spicy sort of burning sensation. Um, so you immediately notice that. It's a thinner sauce compared to the jam. And aside from that, it has this, again, very vinegar uh, sort of sharpness to it. And I would say that this actually complements the fries better than it does the nuggets. Although it works in both cases. And let me emphasize that uh, this is the sort of sauce that works very well in both of these cases. However, I would say the mambo sauce works better uh, with the fries. I think it just complements the potato note uh, with that a little bit better. So, still spicy though. It's a spicy sauce. Uh, you might notice the spice perhaps more immediately in the mambo sauce than you will the sweet and spicy jam. Uh, but again, the spice isn't as long-lived. I still like it. Uh, I would say, though, that the sweet and spicy jam is my favorite because I do like the sweet note, which is missing a little bit from the mambo sauce. Uh, but again, the mambo sauce is still decent, and I would be rating that a 7.7 .7 out of 10. So two solid new releases from McDonald's. Happy to see these sauces uh, released. Again, some spicy notes, but I think McDonald's did a good job. So get them while the getting's good. And again, I would recommend you pair them, uh, the sweet and spicy with some nuggets, the mambo sauce with some fries. And that's all that I have for you. Thank you for watching. And until next time, I'm your host, The Report of the Week.